If you have a blend file and you want to know what Blender version it was created with, I'm going to show you a couple of simple ways to find out, including a little add-on that ChatGPT wrote for me. It's incredible what you can do these days. But either way, the first step is to try to open your file in any Blender version that you have available. I would recommend using the most up-to-date, stable version of Blender, because generally forward compatibility is more reliable than backward compatibility. So you have a better chance that your file will open in the first place. So I'll grab this file here, which I know that I created in Blender 2.83, and I'm going to drag and drop it into Blender 4 here and open it. So if the file does open, you're in a good shape. Next, go to your outliner and change the display mode to data API. Find the version entry and expand it. And you'll get three numbers, X, Y, and Z, which is a weird way to display it. But the main numbers you're interested in are the X and Y. Here, X is two and Y is 83, which means that this file was originally created in Blender 2.83. The number next to Z corresponds to minor releases and minor updates of the 2.83 version. So in most cases, you can ignore it. And that's it really. Um, here I'll try another file. Same thing, data API version, expand it. And I can see it was created with Blender 3.6. And as I said, I asked ChatGPT to write an add-on that displays the Blender version. And I just needed two prompts and it did it perfectly. Um, so what we need to do here is go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, click Install. And here is my add-on. It is a .py extension, but that doesn't matter. Just select it and click Install Add-on. And then place a check mark here. And it will be in the end panel under Tool. We have this button, Detect Blender Version. Just press it and down here, it will show Blender 3.6. And if I click on it, it will open this window where I can see it because the notification disappears after a second. Uh, you can also switch this window here to Info. And again, you'll see the Blender version. Okay, so let's try it with another file. Go to Tool, click Detect Blender version, and it will tell me Blender version 3.5. Okay, one last way to do it. If I create a Python console here, I can type bpy.contextBlendData.Version. So there we go. Just keep in mind that if you click File and save this file, it will not update right away. So I have to go to File Revert, which will just open the same file again. And now if I try it, it will tell me that it was created with Blender 4.0. And same here with the add-on and same here if I use the data API, okay, 4.0. So this number shows the last blend version in which this file was saved. I hope this helps and Blender is awesome. So consider donating to fund.blender.org to make Blender even better. And if you like CG Dive, check out academy.cgdive.com where I share my advanced rigging tutorials.